things you didn't know about dinosaurs. Number 20. The word dinosauria is Greek for terrible reptile, although some translations say terrible lizard. The term was coined by British paleontologist Richard Owen in 1842. He wanted to reference the animal's size and majesty rather than imply the creatures were fearsome. Number 19. Did you know that the Stegosaurus is the official state fossil of Colorado? That's because the first ever skeleton of a Stegosaurus was discovered close to Morrison, Colorado. And here's another fun fact about the dinosaur. Despite weighing over five tons, this massive creature had a brain that weighed less than three ounces. Number 18. Meat-eating dinosaurs are known as theropods, which means beast-footed due to the hooked, sharp claws on the toes, and they stood upright on the hind legs. Sauropods, meaning lizard foot, were plant-eating dinosaurs that tended to have blunt hooves or toenails and walked on all fours. Number 17. Some of the biggest plant eaters, such as Argentinosaurus, ate enormous quantities of food each day. Experts don't have an exact figure, but to kind of put things in perspective, the male African elephant, the largest terrestrial land animal extant today, weighs over 13,000 pounds and eats over 300 pounds of food each day. Argentinosaurus could weigh as much as 12 African elephants stacked on top of each other. Going by those figures, the big dinosaur could put away over 3,600 pounds of food in a day. By contrast, the average human eats around 440 pounds of food a year. Number 16. Dinosaurs built nests and laid eggs, not unlike birds and lizards of today. Some were known to feed and protect their offspring. All dinosaurs laid eggs and many kinds have been discovered thus far. The connection between birds and dinosaurs is so strong that modern day birds are considered to be the descendants of feathered dinosaurs and are termed avian dinosaurs. Number 15. Although the bones of meat-eating dinosaurs, or theropods like T. rex, were huge, they were filled with air, making them far more lightweight than they appeared. That helps explain why the animals could move so fast despite their large size. Number 14. The first dinosaur egg fossils to be scientifically documented were discovered in France, but were originally misidentified as giant bird eggs. From that point on, many new nesting sites have been located all over the world. In 2015, a clutch of 43 fossilized dinosaur eggs were unearthed by road workers in a city in southeast China. 19 of the eggs were found fully intact. More than 17,000 fossilized dinosaur eggs have been found in China since the first discovery in 19. Number 13. Some scientists have theorized that the dinosaurs had one giant foot in the grave even before that meteorite arrived. The new species of dinosaurs that emerged couldn't keep pace with those dying out, resulting in the creatures becoming less diverse overall and indicating dinosaurs were already in the midst of a slow extinction. Number 12. Did you know that dinosaurs had fleas? Known as pseudo-fleas, the parasitic insects were around 10 times as big as modern fleas and had claws used to attach themselves to dinosaurs and pterosaurs. They used syringe-like beaks to feed on the dinosaur's blood and may have passed on diseases or parasites that didn't do the dinosaur's longevity any favors. The longest pseudo-fleas likely measured over 20 millimeters long. Number 11. While dinosaurs lived a long time ago, no one knows exactly how long a dinosaur lived in terms of its lifespan. Some paleontologists have made an educated guess that large dinosaurs had a lifespan between 75 to 300 years old. Number 10. T. rex weighed in at around 14,000 pounds and measured some 45 feet long, making for a pretty imposing beast. But this creature can also brag about the size of its choppers. Its teeth can measure almost 10 inches long, although the longest one discovered was 12 inches long. With up to 60 of those teeth in its powerful jaws, T. rex could exert a maximum bite force of nearly 12,800 pounds. Number 9. 
Earlier in 2016, the largest dinosaur nesting site in the world was revealed to be Oca Mahuevo, located in Argentina. The eggs contain the first known embryonic remains of any sauropod dinosaurs yet discovered. Sauropods include titanosaurs, some of the largest dinosaurs that ever existed. It's thought the nesting site is between 79 and 83 million years old. Number 8. Researchers believe that certain dinosaurs were cold-blooded while others were warm-blooded, and there could have been still others that could maintain a near-constant temperature in their bodies. There's speculation that small carnivores may have been warm-blooded, while herbivores, which were not as active, were likely cold-blooded creatures. Number 7. Usain Bolt is largely considered to be the world's fastest human. With a top estimated speed of 27 and a half miles per hour, he could outrun a T-Rex, which could run around 18 miles per hour. That would give Mr. Bolt even more bragging rights. But he could not outrun an Orthodomimus, which had a top speed of around 40 miles per hour. That creature lived around 76 million years ago, weighed around 300 pounds, and resembled an ostrich. Number six. The tails of some dinosaurs were over 40 feet long, and some paleontologists theorize the lengthy tails helped them maintain the balance as they ran. Diplodocus had an immensely long tail that could reach supersonic velocities, according to computer models anyway. The creature could crack the tip of its tail like a bullwhip at supersonic speeds, creating a cannon-like boom. Researchers think the sound was used to discourage would-be attackers, or for communication, or even for attracting a mate. Number 5. Dinosaurs lived on every continent, including Antarctica. Earlier in 2016, a treasure trove of dinosaur fossils was discovered there. More than a ton of dinosaur fossils, including the remains of marine reptiles such as plesiosaurs and mosasaurs, were discovered. The artifacts were found hundreds of miles south of Chile on James Ross Island. Experts think the bones will help recreate a picture of the creature's environment, as well as shed light on how the dinosaurs went extinct. Number 4. Dinosaur Diet Some researchers theorize that ancestors of modern birds could have survived the catastrophic event that made the dinosaurs go extinct and evolved into the birds that exist in the world today. While smaller bird-like dinosaurs were wiped out along with bigger creatures like Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus, the smaller creatures with toothless beaks may have survived by pecking on hardy seeds until the Earth recovered. A massive asteroid strike could have altered the Earth's climate temporarily as dust blotted out the sun. With the widespread loss of vegetation, many herbivores would have lost the food source, and in turn, large predators would have lost their prey and starved. Number 3. Dwarf Dinosaur We usually think of dinosaurs as towering behemoths, which many of them were, of course, but many of the creatures could be even smaller than humans. Consider Pagomastax africanus. The name means thick jaw from Africa, and it's one of the smallest dinosaurs yet discovered. This species of dwarf dinosaur measured less than two feet long and weighed about the size of today's domestic cat. But this 200 million year old creature had vampire fangs and bristling quills not unlike a bipedal porcupine. Those canines were likely used for self-defense or for sparring for mates. The creature's fossils were discovered in South Africa in the 1960s but it wasn't formally named or recognized until 2012. Number two. So, how did the dinosaurs go extinct? Of course, there are many theories regarding the Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction, or KT extinction event, including one that concerns a huge meteorite striking the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico over 65 million years ago. The Chicxulub crater measures around 112 miles wide and was caused by a massive rock some six miles in diameter. Based on recent evidence, there's also the possibility that a global firestorm accompanied that catastrophe, and some research suggests that when the meteorite hit, it not only created enough dust to blot out the sun, it also ejected some 500 cubic miles of minute glass spherules at high speed. When the tiny objects plummeted to Earth, they could have incinerated life on the surface within minutes. Number 1. 
the modern form of human evolved around 200,000 years ago, although our ancestors have been around for 6 million years. But dinosaurs were running the show on this planet for over 160 million years. Do you think we have a shot at beating that record?